Well, hey everybody, I'm gonna go ahead and get started with episode one. Uh, one, one thing that I've had repeated inquiries on over the years is uh, something that people maybe call the, you might call the Knott County Lick, the East Kentucky Lick, and it consists of, I had to look up the term, it's a new term, I guess, for me, it's called an open string pull-off. So basically it's, this is of course more an intermediate kind of thing, but it's not, not too complex, but basically the idea, the technique, all it is is you're doing your regular uh, you know, your bum ditty stroke, typical overhand stroke. But you throw in a pull off on an open string. speed it up, smooth it out, incorporate some different things, and you get sort of like a roll out of it. This is a technique that I learned from George Gibson of Knott County, Kentucky. And let's see if I can get the glare out of that, but this is his, his CD. Uh, he's on a couple of CDs. This is the main one it's called Last Possum Up the Tree. And it's kind of hard to get a hold of these days, but it's from June Apple Recordings, the year 2000. But in this song, or in this, in this album, is you know, prominently featured. That's the first time I heard it, was when I heard this, this man playing it. And he is from Knott County, so it's sort of, made, we can call it the Knott County lick, but it's something that was probably far more widespread um, in the earlier days of, of our banjo tradition. Um, right now, you're really only gonna find it through him and people who learned from him, George Gibson. Another important CD, the only other CD where you'll find George Gibson is uh, see here, this one called Banjer Days. And uh, Gibson has a couple of tracks on here. And there's also, there's a lot of, if you're into varieties of different styles, this is an important CD to, to get a hold of. Banjer Days with the three banjos on the front cover. This is also June Apple Recordings, 1999. So. Banjo Days. That's another Clifton Hicks must-have. If you want to, uh, you know, get into more of the stuff that I'm into and some of the sounds that I do, that's where I've learned a lot of it. Mainly from George Gibson. Um, other places, um, old sources for that. Buell Cassie, another East Kentuckian. This is his Smithsonian stuff. Rufus Crisp, another important East Kentucky musician who who is uh, relevant to this this lesson. So the open string pull off and the Knott County lick which is accomplished by basically stringing a bunch of those open string pull offs together. You find I, I mostly go into an upstroke when I do it. And I'm not hitting any particular string but you know, the way to do it is like pick a string to hit with your right hand and then pull off with the left string or with the first string with your left hand. Yeah, you know, generally on the first, the second fret, the first string at the second fret. And you're hitting whatever string in here. But you know, there's other songs, like Little Birdie is another uh, great example of that. And uh, in a more complex tuning and a much a more complex technique where you're holding more fingers down, but it's the same technique. It's a repeated open string pull off. So I thought the, the best way that I can show people to do it and the song that I'm most noted for doing it in is Morphine, which is another song from George Gibson. And it's track 14 on this Last Possum Up the CD, Last Possum Up the Tree CD. Very important CD. If you can get a hold of this, this will take you a long ways. It's got 24 tracks on it and it's live, it's great. So Morphine, the way I learned it from George Gibson when I was about I guess 14 years old, about 1999 or 2000. I'll play a little bit of it for you, and then we'll just we'll do the the we'll show you a couple different of those not county licks, those open open string pull offs in it. There's a couple different ways in it. Last Saturday night 
my grave today. from the way that George Gibson taught me how to play that song. George sings it a couple, a little bit longer, some more verses in there. But for the sake of this video, I figured I would do it that way. That's a little bit more like uh, how Bill Cornett might have done it. He's another East Kentucky musician. And uh, yeah, something going on here. But anyhow, but that's, that's that technique. This is our first episode. I'm a little bit not sure about this camera yet, but I think we're still recording here. I'm going to keep going. But, so that's that. Um, is this thing still recording? It said it had like a thing that says, it says zero minutes at the top. Oh, yeah, it's counting. So it's still going. Mm -hmm. All right, we're good. That's fine. All right, y'all. 